It's not something that you just jump something on. It's not like a truck. It's in a series of tubes. It is so complicated. This is Sean outside Fashion Week, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Here's your 60 seconds of social media. Does social media buzz translate to TV ratings? Last week at Ad Age's social TV conference, Twitter's head of television, Fred Graver, discussed the idea that Twitter could be part of a new TV rating system, one that might include traditional ratings as well as social data. The Nielsen Company has measured television audience viewing since the 1950s, extrapolating ratings from small representative samples. Nielsen's first social media study last year revealed that a 9% increase in social media chatter corresponded to a 1% increase in viewership among 18 to 49 year olds. And earlier this year, TV Guide released survey results in which 17% of viewers said they started to watch a show because of a social media impression. So is Graver right? Is it time for a whole new rating system? Yes, but don't count on it happening anytime soon. With multiple companies tracking social conversations and people enhancing their second screen experience with a variety of apps and platforms, it's going to be a while before a standard emerges, one that brands will bet their money on. Now for Venture Stars, where we look at interesting startups. Facebook paid over 700 million bucks for Instagram, but Portland-based Chirpify might have found a way to actually make money with it. The social commerce platform enables in-stream purchases on Twitter already, but now people can buy and sell from within Instagram applications as well. You can find us within Twitter, within Facebook, and see us here next week for 60 Seconds of Social Media.